Hello and welcome to this 2022 edition of Inside HGISD. I'm Michelle Loera, a senior from Harlingen High School. And I'm Larissa Huerta, a senior from Harlingen High School South. As always, there's lots to cover, so let's get started. Bella Michaels, a multimedia sports journalist, recently stopped by the Media Arts Academy to give students an insight in the media industry. Here's Ramsey Berlang with more on the story. Bella Michaels is an up-and-coming multimedia news journalist and is currently working at KRGV Westlico. She recently graduated from DuPaul University in the summer of 2021 in Chicago, Illinois. She decided to come into South Texas to work as a sportscaster for KRGV Westlico and is loving her new job. My job here in the Valley is one, really just experiencing the culture and the community and how beautiful everything is so family oriented, but also so sports oriented and being a sports reporter, that's really important. And the second thing that I value is being being able to really build those relationships with, with everyone here and, and getting to know the culture and getting to know the, the athletes and the coaches and the families um, and just the community in general behind and off, off the field, off the court. She recently stopped by at the Media Arts and Communications Academy to talk to the students about going into the news industry. I think the biggest advice is not knowing all the stats and, and knowing every you know historical piece about a team. It's, it's knowing, getting to know who you're interviewing, getting to know what's going on off the field, off the court, because what's happening on the field and on the court, everyone can see. You turn on your phone, you see the highlights. You turn on the TV, you see the highlights. But what you don't see is the stories behind those athletes, those coaches, and, and, and everyone. And that's what will distinguish you as a sports journalist um, at the end of the day from, from everyone else, when you can really connect with people and tell those stories. The Media Arts and Communications Academy would like to thank Bella Michaels for stopping by. The students learned a great deal about the media industry and the news industry. Reporting for Inside HCISD, I am Ramsey Burlanga. Coquille Middle School recently added a new program called ACE. This program takes place after school and gives students a chance to catch up on their work or improve their academic skills. Here's Ivan Noriega with more on that story. The Coquille Middle School ACE program is an after school program that not only helps students with the schoolwork struggles, but helps them learn new skills that will benefit them in the future. So at the ACE program here at Coquille Middle School, we like to incorporate a lot of um, math, uh, science, and our STEM program along with also extracurricular activities. So that way the students can take a mind off of studies and also uh, work on projects that supplement their studies as well. The ACE program encourages teamwork, communication, and great problem solving abilities with fun little activities in between lessons. Um, it allows the students to uh, talk amongst their peers and also learn at the same time with our fun uh, activities. Like for instance, uh, this roller coaster behind me was actually built by our students with the help of one of our teachers and they were able to uh, learn a bunch of STEM properties that went along with, with this, uh, this building uh, and also uh, talk amongst their peers and make new friends along the way. Kids of any grade 6 through 8 can enjoy the ACE program. So it's actually uh, for all grade levels uh, 6 through 8 and then um, of course we have our ACE programs at the elementary school at, which offers which is for all grade levels as well from kinder through fifth. But uh, here are a couple kids from 6th six, through 8th grade. Kids can also enjoy the eSports gaming side of the ACE program. They can play with friends or go head-to-head -head in competitive tournaments. So we uh, post on our Facebook online, which lets the parents know, um, especially through our Facebook, that the program is offered. And of course, it's free for all students that are here at Copley Middle School. And, and uh, of course, for the other ACE programs as well, all the other schools, um, the ACE program is completely free. Uh, we also have uh, flyers posted up in the front of the school and of course uh, the best way that we're able to get the word out is by offering a great program so the students know and the students uh, tell their friends about it as well through word of mouth. The ACE program, brighten up your future and the future of others. I'm Ivan Noriega reporting for Insight HCISD. Austin Elementary heard their whole, held their first food drive this past November. They were accepting a variety of canned goods and students had a blast. Here's Maybelline Ronhell with more on the story. On November 10, students from Austin Elementary started a food drive, accepting a variety of canned foods. This is the school's first time holding a can drive, so it's a new experience for everyone volunteering. Well, probably like every day, because mostly every day, we're, a lot of students were bringing in cans. Our main focus was to get a lot of cans so that we can donate it to the local food pantry. 
whoever donates the most cans, which is equals to a feather, they will win a pizza party with the movie. Mm, well, once we call out the who has the most in the announcements. Donations end November 14th with third grade in the league. Uh, I feel very excited that we get to help out the community and I can't really explain the rest because it's just amazing how we have all this food. Not only will the school be doing a food drive, they would also be doing a toy drive in December. Reporter from HISD, I am Maybelline Drunkhead. Hey, Post City Fashion Show at Lux Boutique to showcase the HISD students. Here's Larissa Huerta with more information. <laughs> This past February, the Harlingen Area Educational Foundation partnered up with Lux Boutique, located in downtown Harlingen, to highlight HCISD academies. This year, we added a style show, showcasing our academy young ladies and being escorted by our firefighter department uh, students. And we offer teacher innovation grants, and that's what the money will be used for. Anybody that applies, the scholarships are available. We went from giving out uh, $6,000 in scholarships, and last year we gave out $24,000 because of all the fundraising events that we've had. 15% of every purchases went to the Harlingen Area Education Foundation to aid Harlingen Academies and students. Dr. Noyola, HCISD superintendent, was very excited to see the students participate. We're super thankful to Lux Boutique for their support, but we also have a number of other community businesses that they too are doing different events in support of the work that the Harlingen Area Education Foundation is doing. Today I, I certainly want to thank uh, Fidi Guillen, who's the owner of Lux Boutique. Also want to thank all of our students for participating today. They were asked to be part of this style show. Uh, they, they willingly and gladly volunteered. Haith and Lux Boutique have partnered up in the past and plan to continue with that tradition. Can't wait to see what next year holds. Reporting for Inside HISD, I'm Cheyenne Trejo. That's all the time we have for today. We look forward into visiting your school for the latest news. Until next time, I'm Larissa Huerta. And I'm Michelle Loera. Thank, Thank you, you for watching Inside HISD. HISD.